If you're a journalist, reforming the whistleblower laws and the libel laws definitely has its attractions because they've been tough. But would you not be better trying to preach these through the mainstream parties to get them to adopt it rather than building a party run something like that yourself? Well, that's an allegation you can make against all minor parties. We believe that as the Pirate Party we have a unique offering um, on both free speech, on whistleblowing, on justice, but on, on wider things as well. We're very much a party of freedom in all areas. We believe that people need to be free online and as well as offline. We believe that people need to be able to communicate with one another without the government snooping on them, without them being able to read your emails. And you think that's getting worse? Absolutely. Um, we've seen with Theresa May when she was Home Secretary and Amber Rudd now that looking to put in a backdoor to encryption, mm. for example, is something that is, is akin to putting, mm. asking the police to put a key under your front doorstep. And again, I can understand uh, the attraction of that. And there have been cases where some of this has been misused. Absolutely. Uh, and journalists have been on the wrong end. I'm not talking about the hacking stuff. That's entirely different. I'm talking about trying to track down journalist sources and so on, using what you're talking about. It's a harder argument, though, isn't it, when the war on terror, uh, so-called, mm -hmm. is become overwhelmingly now a war of the intelligence services against those who would do us harm. Absolutely. There is a real need in politics in Westminster um, for people who understand digital, who understand technology, who know exactly how this stuff works, because we are really lacking in any, um, any politicians that have that background, that have that... that uh, you feel that the use. political classes here don't quite understand the implications Impl of digital technology? They don't at all. And, you know, with regards to your comment about mass surveillance mm. and the war on terror, then we would think that that money would be far better spent on targeted surveillance. It is no use um, adding more hay to the haystack if you're looking for the needle.